that we want to calculate and determine the height of the triangle. So from the base of the square pyramid to what will be the apex of the pyramid, we need to calculate that distance so that the vertex or the apex of our triangle will be at the top of the black point here. With our trial and error, make obviously our tr the height of our triangle has to be a little bit bigger to come up to match that point. Or we've identified that the we can see a triangle, a right angle triangle there in the middle between the face of the actual pyramid and the height, the perpendicular height of our triangle. So we're going to try to create a right angle triangle there and use Pythagoras with our right angle triangle. So we'll measure this distance and we'll measure this distance and we'll do a calculation. Okay, so that distance from there to there is four centimetres. <laughs> and then the vertical height is going to be 5.2 centimetres. Using Pythagoras, we need to find the hypotenuse of our triangle. And our two smaller sides will 4 centimetres and 5.2 centimetres. Okay. Stop. That's 5.2. We'll go back to our piece of paper and we'll measure our 6.2 of our height of all of our triangles, make our triangles, cut it out and test our solution. Let's see if we were correct. So we'll make our little pyramid again. Pop that in the centre of our pyramid. Do you want to come down from the top? And we can see that our sides of our pyramid are going to match exactly to the measured distance on our perpendicular height. Fantastic.